Inventory woes are so large right now, it's caught the eyes of CNBC. In fact, they interviewed me and I'm featured in the article and I'll be showing you that today. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. Thought this was a really great article. It was um, authored by Annie Palmer. Um, so title, Amazon sellers worry they can't meet holiday demand as company limits warehouse space. The irony of this article is that yesterday the limits got even harsher. I sent a you know two minute update yesterday about how like the 200 limits now like almost in half and even top sellers that are burning like a couple thousand units can't even send in a couple hundred units right now. It's so insane. Amazon's system completely imploding. So uh, inside of the uh, article, she talks about you know how it's in fact it's impacting specific sellers. So a few months ago, uh, this gentleman launched two new games titled based on popular comedy films, Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. With the coronavirus still raging and the holidays around the corner, he thought it'd be a perfect time to release the new games. Apparently, our timing could not have been worse, as the reason is ridiculous. Co-founder of Barry and James Games wrote in a blog post last month. Uh, I don't know how to say this name. That's why I skipped it a couple of times, but uh, Lawton, uh, I butchered it. Just going to move on. It's one of the several Amazon sellers who are up in arms over recent policy change meant to help the company conserve space in its warehouse as it faces a pandemic fueled surge in e-commerce demand alongside the peak holiday shopping season. In August, Amazon put in place stricter quantity limits on shipments from third-party sellers that uses its fulfillment service to package and ship orders, known as Fulfillment by Amazon or FBA. The limit applies to all product categories and differ on an item-by-item -item basis. It means he can only send in roughly 230 units per shipment of his fast-selling Anchorman, the game, whereas he would have sent in thousands of units for a hot-selling unit item in years past. With the Anchorman game out of stock, he went. Uh, he can do to send in. He's doing everything he can to send in more inventory and wait for it to arrive at FBA warehouses. In the meantime, he said he's losing out on potential sales, which could have lasting consequences for his business, like determining how many new employees he can afford to hire in the new year. You have to sell the products to be able to send them in, but you have to have them in order to sell them. Very much the chicken or egg question, right? And he said in an interview with CNBC, so that's the catch-22 we find ourselves in. When Amazon announced the policy change in August, it said the quantity limits would help ensure all sellers using FBA have space to store their products. The initiative was also meant to prevent the kinds of supply chain bottlenecks and delivery delays Amazon experienced during the early months of the pandemic. Few periods are as important for Amazon to live up in its two-day delivery promise and reputation as the everything store than the holiday shopping season. This year is forecast to be busier than ever. U.S. shoppers expected to spend $189 billion online in November and December, a 33% increase year over year, according to Adobe Analytics. It's not just Amazon feeling the pressure this holiday season. Many retailers and also the National Retail Federation have warned consumers get their holiday shopping done early to avoid potential shipping chaos to make sure they receive their gifts on time. So a quick note on this. I prophesied, so to speak, back in July that I thought we were going to see massive stockout shortages, supply chain breakdown by the first week in December. And here we are, everybody. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of fun to see that, but also terrible to live and terrible to see at the same time. Big box retailers like Walmart and Target have pointed shoppers to curbside pickup in order to fulfill orders quickly while on-demand delivery companies such as Postmates, Instacart, DoorDash have partnered up with companies like Sephora, Macy's, and Estee Lauder's Lay Labo to get items into people's homes. There are also fears of significant capacity shortfall among major shipping carriers, FedEx, the U.S. Postal Service, and UPS, which reportedly told its drivers on Cyber Monday to stop picking up packages from some of the largest U.S. retailers after they exceeded their allocated volumes. Amazon has ramped up capacity since March, growing its warehouse footprint across the country to an unprecedented speed. The company expects to increase its network square footage, which includes fulfillment center space, along with short sort uh, centers and delivery stations by 50% this year, up from 15% growth in 2019. Hint, translation, Amazon is out of space. They do not have enough fulfillment capacity. Even with the added capacity, Amazon still has to take steps to conserve space in its U.S. warehouses by limiting storage of third-party sellers' products and its own goods. I don't think they've 
been quite able to get a grasp of the forecast, said Mauro Robertson, founder of consulting firm Logistics Trends and Insights. When they said they'd be back in the third quarter, they were going to have 50% more space. That may have been adequate at the beginning of this year, but because of COVID, it is no longer ad adequate. It's killing us. Sellers say they understand why Amazon needed to limit the size of shipments into its warehouse, but they feel the policy puts them in a bind during the holiday that's already proven challenging due to the pandemic. The inventory-related struggles come as Amazon has highlighted success of small businesses on its platform this year's pandemic-delayed Prime Day, as well as Black Friday and Cyber Monday. About to get to my part, super excited. Quoted my CNBC article here today. While the inventory restriction aren't limited to third-party sellers, Amazon has previously said it's metering storage of its own products too in its warehouses. Merchants said that they felt like they had little to say in how the limits are determined. Several sellers who spoke to CNBC said they expect to finish out the year with sales significantly up from 2019, but the revenue could be better if not for the inventory restrictions. Lo and behold, Stephen Pope who sells wine glasses on Amazon, expressed frustrations over the company determined the quantity limits. Pope and other sellers who spoke to CNBC said Amazon calculates how many units they can send in by looking at the last 90 days of sales for a particular product. For new product, it's even more strict since there's a hard cap of 200 units. They also have a picture here of my social distancing wine glass, which is the number one funny wine glass on Amazon. And I'm out of freaking stock right now on this, by the way. Uh, 5,000 units on the way, and I'm out of stock. I've got a CNBC article, and I freaking can't get it there quick enough. And then their check-in times are delayed. So, like, when I say in my videos that I feel the pain that you as an Amazon seller goes through, I literally mean it. My top seller is impacted tremendously. In fact, I actually have a, a dollar figure that they mentioned in CNBC here in a moment. Merchants who sell holiday products told CNBC that they felt the company wasn't taking seriously, uh, wasn't taking season out or seriously, quite frankly, into account when determining the quantity limits. One Amazon seller who asked to remain anonymous told CNBC they offer a popular Christmas bag on Amazon and are able to send in 50 units per shipment. However, they sell about 40 units per day and they only have 150 units left in stock. The seller said they'd likely need to restock sooner. Um, but they're concerned they won't be able to ship in time for the rest of the holiday shopping rush. An Amazon spokesman said the company does factor in seasonality along with the seller's historical sales, forecast demand, and the capacity available in its fulfillment centers when setting quantity limits. That's a lie, by the way. They do not do that. They do not factor seasonality in any shape or form. The Amazon spokesman person didn't specify specific questions around how far the company looks back when it's assessed historical sales. True. For new products, the company said it initially limits shipments to 200 units until sellers um, uh, build a product sales history that it periodically evaluates and updates the minimum quantity so that a large majority of new products have enough units to establish a product sales history. In August, Amazon told merchants if they sell all of their stock, they could send in more inventory at any time. But sellers say it's not that easy since there are delays when, the ship, when they ship products to Amazon's warehouses. Jerry Kavesh, an Amazon merchant who sells cowboy boots, hats, belts, and other items, said he's been sending in products like crazy, but it has taken anywhere from 10 days to two weeks for it to enter FBA warehouses. Before, it would only take two to four days. By the way, we are seeing consistently 10% of shipments are taking a full 30 freaking days. We're out of stock in our warehouse, and I know I have 30 units at Amazon, but they're being processed, Kavesh said in a recent interview. It's been that way for five days. It's killing us. The Amazon spokesperson said it checks in seller inventory on average within three to five days of its arrival at its warehouses. The company added that some sellers may experience longer inbound times based on the facility they're shipping to. If this happens to you, you can change your ship from date to out of state and you will get a different facility center to ship to. We have done this with very good results, by the way. Pope said one of the top wine glasses sold by his business, Momster, is now very close to stocking out. I'm out of stock. At a time when he typically sees a 400% spike in sales between Black Friday and Christmas, it means he'll lose out on a significant chunk of holiday sales this year. I was projecting I was going to probably do half a million just in December, and now realistically I'm going to top out at about $310,000, Pope said. It's depressing. Yes, it is. You are right, Mr. Pope. It is very depressing. <laughs> it's depressing a lot of us right now. 
Once an inventory limit is determined for a product, sellers can appeal to Amazon to ask their limit be increased. A notice sent to sellers and viewed by CNBC says the company isn't accepting requests for higher quantity limits and notes that shipping quantity above your limit may result in an account suspension. I heard rumor that you could use an API to increase your limit storage. I do not recommend it. Go Merchant Fulfilled this year, guys. Go Merchant Fulfilled, which, by the way, I am not participating in. I'm too tied up and busy running an agency, so I cannot touch my own product. But I do sell through FBA, which is why it's also frustrating because, like, half our clients are in the same boat. Sellers are also concerned that if they run out of stock, their listing may be penalized in Amazon's search algorithm. True. Amazon will push listings down further in search results if it detects they are running low on inventory or out of stock, sellers claim. True. An issue, an issue in the early months of the pandemic, some sellers previously raised prices on their products or cut back on advertising to avoid the same pro painful fate. And then Amazon was like, your price gouging, suspended, listing yanked. So it's like, no matter what you do this year, it's like challenge, challenge, problem, 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 challenge. The amount of inventory sellers can send in this year is a far cry from what they'd usually have in stock. Um, the guy we talked about earlier who helps run the novelty game business said he's typically sending in 5,000 units in late summer monitor sales in September and October, then sell in, send in another batch depending on feedback. With FBA warehouses continuing to limit inventory shipments and some sellers have chosen to fulfill their orders themselves or like that guy, turn to third-party logistics providers to get products out the door in time for the holidays. They added, considering his business to be one of the lucky ones since it also sells products at Target and on its own website. My job is to come up with new games. I'm trying to grow our company in so many other ways that for me to suddenly have to take on a daily inventory watch job that is not in the cards of an already business year. Couldn't have said it better. Well-written article. Um, if you haven't subscribed or followed Annie Palmer, she exclusively writes about marketplaces over at CNBC. I have read a dozen of her articles in the last month since I became aware of her, and uh, very, very good factual information. She is very investigative, asks tough questions, does days of research before publishing her work. And I know this because she interviewed me about a week or two ago um, to get into this particular article. So... Um, I'll put a link to the article at the top of my content here. Feel free to give that a read through. Share this with others that are experiencing the same problems and woes. It can be often a little bit helpful to understand that you're not alone in these problems and challenges. It is also affecting everybody else, unfortunately. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. If you need any Amazon consulting, go over to myamazonguy.com and contact us let us know how we can grow your sales. You need PPC, SEO, design, catalog management. Got a problem to solve. We can do it all and we will help you out. I read every comment that is posted on our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment. Let us know what you're experiencing. Got a question that's off topic? No problem. I will read it and I will respond to it. Got a request for something to cover? Don't hesitate. Leave that comment every single time. I read all of them. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guide. Thank you.